In the area surrounding the 5th Ward Elementary School in Reserve, the EPA reports sensors picking up double or four times the acceptable amounts of air pollution. Just a mile away from the school is the Danka plant that makes rubber for wetsuits, and production releases a chemical carcinogen. It is particularly dangerous for kids to breathe it in as it increases their risk for cancer later in life. A person should enjoy the benefit of commerce, should enjoy the benefit of, of having industry, but that industry should not uh, be more valuable than the lives of the people that keep industry alive. The report by the EPA External Civil Rights Office claims that the Louisiana Department of Health and Department of Environmental Quality did not do enough to mitigate the exposure or educate the public on the risk. The surrounding population of the plant is majority black, and the EPA says the exposure is violating civil rights. Closures like this, addressing it, shutting down that school, are just, you know, one small step toward addressing what is a, what is a really a deep-rooted problem. LDEQ says that they are in accordance with the Clean Air Act and Civil Rights Act, but will address public concern. But families who have lived in the area for generations fear not enough is being done. Mary Hampton can list over a dozen family members and friends who have died from cancer in the area. But these children are there because we have to send them there for school. I have a great grandchild goes to school there, and I worry about them every day because I know there's an issue there. There's nowhere for them to go. In a statement, LDH said that they are reviewing the EPA report and cooperating in the investigation. Shannon Hecht, Fox 44 News.